previously on Travel Beans. We started our hike through Pirin National Park and we were shocked from the get-go at the scenery that we came across. In this episode, we pick up where we left off, making our way up to the second lake. Well, that is just lovely. I was hoping that we would be able to go swimming. Basically, humans are sheep and I can't see anyone in the water, so in turn I don't want to be the trendsetter. <laughs> and I guess I'm expecting that probably it's kind of stagnant or not really healthy to do so. Such a nice day and surely everyone will be having a dip. Could also be a water source for people, I don't know. Like it looks pretty clean, but some bits around the edges look a little bit stagnant. So There's a guy behind you just having a little Ooh. wipe down of the sweaty, sweaty oh. back. We'll keep an eye on him closely <laughs> in case he gets in and then maybe I'll have a little, <laughs> a little dip. <laughs> Someone did a poo up there. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> but with someone, as someone with IBS, I say poo on, brother. Poo on. <laughs> now I've wetted your appetite. <laughs> it's time for your favourite segment of Let's Get Fat with Alex. What delights is he hiding today? We haven't had this segment for ages, it feels like. Do, 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 do. Let's get, get fat with Alex. Alex. <laughs> That's me. Okay. What fatty treats have you got for us today, Alex? So this one is not a specific Bulgarian food. This one is something that I see all over Europe and I'm intrigued American friends and subscribers out there. Do you have the classic Pombear? I would guess just from the name that they're French. I don't know. Yeah. I always thought they were German because you find them in like Aldi and Lidl. I mean, they could be. They're everywhere actually now. I'm probably preaching to the choir if you know what this is because these are fantastic. They used to be my hangover food at uni. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because they're shaped like little bears. So it's fun for the whole family. So adorable. Look at them. And they're salty, but not too salty. <laughs> so these little light, crispy bundles of joy uh, they're so oh, they're so Moorish. They're so plain and boring at the same time. These are the crack or like the heroin of the potato chip world. Mm, much cheaper and less dangerous. I could eat a whole bucket of them to be mm, honest. Mm, mm. The thing is, you're never going to feel full when you have a pack of these. Mm. We're sharing some now just to keep us going. Get in there. But if you've never had a pom bear as a Brit, European, Asian, American, I'm not going to cover the rest because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we have any subscribers from the other places. <laughs> Australasian, African, Antarctican, nice, <laughs> nice. I'm South sure American. <laughs> then make sure the next time you see our friendly furry friends that you pick up a bag and think of me. <laughs> This is barely a path, to be honest. We were scaling the side of that mountain a second ago. And now, look at this. It's so tiny. Let's go. Boo boo alert. <laughs> <laughs> you full on stacked it there. Oh, no blood here though. Well, nice. I'm glad you didn't like hurt yourself so much that you couldn't walk because I definitely could not carry you back. Oh, that was some sick, sick footage there, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's clean you up. <laughs> it's very slippery on these paths and word of warning, be very careful, especially if you're filming stupid pointless videos. <laughs> I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> like so cold that I wouldn't get in I think refreshing for sure Jesus I know with all these like white flowers just floating on the perfectly blue lake water it's surrounded by mountains it's ridiculously nice I just can't believe how quiet it is this time of year I know how is it not busier because it's like you can go hiking in England, sure, and you can go hiking in a bunch of other places around Europe, but I don't understand why more Brits aren't coming to Bulgaria, because for the British budget as well, it's really reasonably priced. I think our accommodation was something like like £80 for four nights or five, five nights. nights. Yeah, really reasonable, and it's a really cute little wooden lodge, and the people that work there are really nice and friendly, and yeah, Bulgaria's where it's at. Wait a second, you haven't compared this to something. Usually we're comparing it to Indiana something Jones. we've seen. <laughs> Indiana Jones <laughs> or uh, America or Canada. Which is this one? I don't know. This is different. I like it though. It feels kind of familiar. I would say maybe like the terrain and everything is something that I would expect to see in the US. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and the lake is like something you'd expect to see in Canada. No, in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Oh nice, different movie. Yeah. I am constantly on the lookout for bears and wolves and I just keep imagining seeing one in the distance and then flying the drone safely, being able to capture it. And especially like on the water holes, I'm imagining like a wolf and a bear together. Did you see recently there were some pictures that came out about a bear and a wolf hunting team. They seem to work together to get their kills. I have been keeping a keen eye on the poo and looking for good substantial nuggets <laughs> because I imagine that would be the bear. Now that is how I'd imagine a bear poo would look like. I've seen a lot of cow poo but nothing as perfectly formed as this. We got back to the hut where we started our trek and grabbed ourselves a couple of orange juices before realizing we had a two hour wait for the bus to get back. So we started walking and actually for the first time in years, we put our thumb out to hitchhike. <laughs> Instantly, we got picked up by a lovely Belgian couple who are on their holidays here and they dropped us back in town. So we have decided to have a celebratory end of hike beer and a Bulgarian feast. After leaving Istanbul, we basically stopped eating so much food. Just wore our food <laughs> just, in general. Just less food. Um, so, which is why we haven't actually filmed any of it. But we can't actually leave Bansko without showing you at least one meal. So today we've gone for a, a bit of a combination of things. We've gone for a we've gone for a shopska salad, which is tomatoes, cucumbers, onion, and cheese. This is called Mishmash. I love the name, firstly. Um, it's eggs, tomatoes, peppers, maybe cheese. This is probably really bad to say, but it's a little similar to Menemen from Turkey, but it does taste quite different. Then over here we have some baked potatoes with cheese. And I have got a pork kofta. After being in Turkey for so long, I wasn't getting any pork, so I'm injecting it into my veins while I'm being here. <laughs> and the same with this 
Bankso dried sausage. And I've just tried a little slice and it's delicious. <laughs> Since we got here, we have been eating a lot of the local salads, and this is one of our favorite ones, the Shopska salad. It's really basic, but really delicious. And this one as well, it's so salty and so Moorish. I feel like I could eat this breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It's really, really good. I am now well and truly stuffed. The food was delicious. I'm not gonna lie, feeling a little bit tipsy. Gonna blame that on the altitude. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a lightweight always. <laughs> and I'm That's a lightweight. how I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm absolutely filthy. So I'm gonna get in the shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So every time I travel on buses specifically, I get really bad travel sickness. And today I've woken up feeling really sick and queasy anyway. So I'm preempting this happening and I've got into a pharmacy here. The woman didn't speak any English. So instead I had Alex acting out what travel sickness was. So he was like, brum, 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 bleh, bleh, brum, 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 bleh, <laughs> This is after like, you trying for a few minutes and getting nowhere. <laughs> But we got something which hopefully is that, but it's all in acrylic, so I actually have no idea what it is. Hopefully, it will be all right. Look sick. I am sick. But look more sick, because they won't sick. believe you if you don't. Should I vomit in the, into the camera? <laughs> <laughs> TV with its very own VCR player. We've got coat hangers. We've got a light. We forgot our favourite VCRs there with us. <laughs> we didn't bring our favourite VCRs, unfortunately. And I'm liking the wallpaper. It's um, artistic. And the very shower's artistic. quite nice. It's kind of a like do-it-yourself jobby over the sink, <laughs> so you can poo and shower at the same time. It's kind of perfect for you, actually. Amazing. So I could sit on the toilet and hose down. <laughs> I have the shower washing over me at the same time. So you could be sick on the floor, sat on the toilet, and washing. Mate, I'm not too good for that. That sounds glorious. <sighs> so it looks like we're not going to be making a fun video in Sofia. Sorry, guys. It's just going to be me puking. Yay! It's been a few days now and I am feeling much better and actually really excited to be able to finally end this video and finally start on our North Macedonia series. We loved our time in Bulgaria. It was way better than we expected. Oh, stunning. Stunning nature, amazing mountains. I will go back there in a second. We said to ourselves before going there that we were just going to avoid filming about food completely because We've been eating like crazy in Turkey <laughs> and we didn't need to be trying more things. We should just no eat healthily. Food. But then we just started eating the local food and it's delicious. <laughs> it's so good. The food was good. The hiking was good. The people were good. All in all, it gives a Travel Beans rating 10 out of 10. I'm saying it. 10 out of 10. Come off it. <laughs> Come off it. I don't think we've ever given a 10 out of we 10. We haven't ever given a rating on a country. So like, you can't start with a 10. <laughs> it, like, it doesn't get a rating. It's just great. <laughs> Maybe it's an 8 out of 10. It doesn't matter about out of 10. <laughs> It's just, it's just great. You should go there if you want to. But there's many other places as well. It, but it is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching our Bulgaria series. Really, really hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And let us know in the comments any other underrated spots, especially hiking and nature for us. Because yes, the Pirin National Park was ridiculously nice, especially for the amount of people there, which was basically six. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> There's no better way to wrap up an end of a series with a big old scream. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. And beads out!
next time on Travel Beans. It is very different. Like, <laughs> this is, there is no place on earth like this.